Okay, so thanks a lot uh, for the invitation. So as I wrote, is uh, everything I will say is a joint work with uh, Gregorio Baldi and Bruno Kingler. And uh, so the first main actor is a Q obstructor or Z obstructor. So uh, it's given by uh, a Q vector space. So a Q vector space uh, of finite <laughs> and uh, given with the decomposition. Next point satisfying some uh, situation like this, some relation uh, like this. And uh, this last uh, uh, property of uh, this decomposition can be uh, written in terms of uh, uh, representation of uh, the Dolin Torres. So uh, you can say that there is a map from uh, S to uh, uh, GL of ER. And maybe uh, you want to say that uh, even PQ, maybe uh, alpha of Z times Z with P. Minus Q, perhaps something like this. And uh, so uh, the two definitions are equivalent, but using the second, you, you can define uh, uh, a crucial uh, ingredient for us, which is uh, the non sorted of alpha, uh, which will be the smallest uh, few subgroup. Of, uh, say G L and Q, uh, such that uh, such that alpha uh, factorized through and uh, I will uh, only consider. Um, uh, Polarized uh, host structure, and uh, in this case, uh, the non forte uh, is a uh, reductive. And now um, you are uh, interested in uh, host tensors, so uh, uh, is say an element. Uh, is a theta in some tensorial construction. Which is purely of uh, in the zero zero part. Uh, so the any tensorial uh, construction will come with a hot structure. And, uh, you define a uh, uh, a hot tensor like this, and uh, okay, uh, uh, theta uh, is a hot tensor. If I mean if uh, theta is uh, invariant by the non state and. Uh, the main example uh, we have in mind is the, uh, say the petit cohomology of some uh, smooth projective variety. Okay, then uh, uh, the, the second step is to do this uh, in family. So you start with uh, S, uh, say, quasi uh, projective. Uh, Smooth variety of a C. 
And uh, so I, I want to, to work with a polarized uh, uh, ZVHS on S. So it's a bunch of data, but I will use very little of uh, definition for the moment. And you have a so the main thing for me will be that uh, from uh, so for any point of S, uh, I will have uh, uh, some constructor associated to uh, the point, and uh, uh, I will have uh, okay, we we can. Uh, Describe the hot structure more by filtrations and more than this decomposition. And uh, the filtration will vary holomorphically with uh, the point. And uh, VZ would be just uh, some local system of, uh, with more property than the usual uh, local system. So I, I won't use uh, much more uh, on this. At the end, I will use some Griffith's transversality, but. Uh, you don't see it for a while. And uh, okay, now uh, the, the main example is uh, uh, and you have a family of variety. Uh, by a smooth uh, projective variety. And, uh, if you look at uh, say the primitive part of the rotation, will give you a uh, uh, polarized, polarized part. The VHS. So, um, So now I want to define the hot locus, and it would be uh, what we will study uh, in this talk. So uh, so uh, the point uh, in SN is said uh, hot, hot generic. Uh, if uh, the Mumford of the fiber of S of V uh, has maximal dimension. And then uh, uh, in this situation, two uh, hot generic points as isomorphic uh, uh, Mumford group, and we call it, we fix uh, some isomorphism, and we call it the generic Mumford group. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, we define like this the generic Mumford group. Of uh, operation of stock and uh, definition uh, will be just that uh, uh, the Hodge locus uh, of S and uh, I put a tens uh, tensor here because. It's really related to all the tensorial algebra uh, associated to V. Um, it's a set of points. Uh, where um, uh, it's not a generic. Uh, 
And uh, it means somehow that uh, it's a set of points uh, where you have more hot stand tensors for a V-electric point than the general uh, point of your height. So it has been uh, described, I mean, the main uh, uh, theorem uh, by uh, Kaplan, is that uh, uh, the hot locus is accountable union of uh, algebraic. Varieties. Okay. And uh, so the purpose of uh, the talk uh, is to uh, try to describe uh, more uh, this uh, set. And uh, we will be able to say a precise thing for the part of a Hodge locus which is of positive period dimension. I will explain what it is. And all we won't be able to say anything about the part of the Hodge locus, which is of zero damage. But uh, okay, so the kind of question you have in mind is, for example, uh, uh, is this Hodge locus uh, is I dense or is this Hodge locus algebraic? This of a two kind of situation that we would like to to face, and uh, so the, the the main starting point to study this is uh, to interpret the Hodge locus as an intersection in uh, some homogeneous varieties uh, through uh, period maps. And period domains. So, um, okay. Uh, uh, just a little bit of notation before. If uh, Y is a sub variety of S, then uh, I can restrict. Uh, my uh, Z variation of a structure on Y. And uh, this is a uh, VHS on Y. And associated to this, I get some uh, uh, generic Monforte group. And uh, I also have a, a representation. So I, I should specify some point, but I, I don't. From the pi one of uh, y one in g of uh, say v two, and. Uh, <coughs> uh, you, you can define the monodromy group uh, as uh, the, the, you take the size key closure of this representation. The uh, component, uh, the neutral component. So this is the monodromy group. And uh, uh, something that we use uh, constantly will be that um, H Y 
is a normal subgroup of uh, PY. So um, and now I want to <laughs> explain uh, how you can uh, interpret the Hodge locus in terms of intersections. So, uh, uh, I mean, so, so I look at uh, the universal cover of uh, my quasi projective uh, smooth <coughs> variety S uh, and uh, associated to uh, uh, any point. Uh, I have uh, associated, say, to a point of S tilde or S n. I have a hot structure uh, and I see it as a, a map. Um, and uh, so I can consider the so I have uh, this uh, Mumforte generic Mumforte group for S tilde, and uh, I can consider the homogeneous space uh, G. So Okay, I call G uh, generic Mumforte group of my variation of a structure, and I can consider the orbit at this point by conjugation, and uh, this turn out to be uh, okay a quotient of. Uh, Uh, where M is a compact. So group, maybe not maximal, but uh, still uh, you're in a situation where uh, this is a complex analytic. And um, and uh, essentially, all the information you can get from uh, the existence of a ZVHS is contained in a, a period map uh, so, uh, uh, so we, where gamma, okay, maybe is a finite index in, uh, so it's an arithmetic group, a finite index in, in some G of G, and uh, maybe, uh, uh, and uh, <coughs> somehow on uh, each uh, of this uh, space, you, you can construct the VHS and then you can bring back them here. And uh, so uh, we, it's important for us uh, to really consider uh, the period map associated to the generic Monforte group instead of uh, usual period domain and period. Uh, so uh, this will play a crucial role for us, but um, nothing more than uh, before. And uh, so with this picture in, in mind. The gamma is not the image of phi. Right? What is not the image of phi? I, it's not subjective, it's more, it's not injective. It's not gamma. It's D gamma. gamma, yeah. yeah. So you don't know. The, the, monodromy. the monodromy goes to gamma. Yeah. That's so just what I mean. So very small. It can be a thin group, uh, yeah. and sometimes it will be, uh, there's yeah. nothing I use. Uh, okay. This. Um, and are you assuming that the monodromy 
So in base S, uh, are there points which will give you cusp, uh, will give you quasi uniform transformations, or you never use those? Uh, you won't see it in the talk. Uh, so I, I don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe I even use uh, it. So, so it could be over a base where they know where the base is compact, for example. Right? Yeah, but uh, you won't have a lot of interesting examples, but uh, you may. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but still, um, so uh, the important thing is that on this kind of homogeneous spaces, you have a lot of uh, sub homogeneous spaces which are quite natural, and you can interpret the hot locus with this uh, uh, sub uh, spaces. So, what you do is uh, you start, say, with uh, S prime. I, mean, I guess the reason I asked that is one of, I think, if I'm right, uh, not wrong anyway, here you use this work of Schmidt, right? In some of these proofs with the analytic properties of a disk. Yes, but uh, if it, uh, if the base were compact, uh, then you don't need it. But that's why. But that's not the issue for you. Not, uh, so I mean, you can do things in order to make this map proper. You you, have, you can extend a little bit, and you can do things like this, which are useful. But uh, uh, it's it would be uh, not really. Uh, Control in what I'm saying. So when you have a, a point here, say, uh, you can consider uh, the non forte group of uh, associated uh, uh, Hodge structure, and uh, uh, you, you can construct in the same way. Uh, uh, a number to new space, and uh, uh, you, you obtain a, a complex analytics of variety uh, d prime over gamma prime inside uh, d over gamma, maybe with gamma prime is uh, gamma intersected with d prime, and uh, uh, you call this. Uh, Say uh, a special variety of your uh, gamma, and uh, so. Uh, now, uh, the important observation for us, so is that uh, components of the hot locus Uh, can be interpreted as intersections uh, with uh, special similarities. So uh, the right way of doing this is uh, you start uh, with a component. So let Y be a component of the uh, hot locus. And uh, <coughs> Uh, you in this situation, you have your generic non forted group uh, G of the restriction of V to Y, so GY, and uh, 
um, what you get is that y is a component of uh, somehow you do the intersection of the image of your parent map with uh, this d prime over gamma prime, where d prime is dy to sum with divided by sum and y, and gamma prime is uh, the intersection of gamma with dy. And so <coughs> now we have a kind of geometric way of thinking about uh, uh, someone in the hot locus. And um, you, you have a, a way of saying some component should appear and some shouldn't, which is just by counting dimension in a silly way. So it's a, it's only um, definition which is really crucial for me. I would say that uh, y is typical if uh, so the expected dimension for an intersection of inside D of a gamma of these two uh, analytic varieties uh, is uh, the one expected. So um, okay, maybe uh, I say it like this. Yes, uh, of the gamma, of the prime of the gamma. So it's it's kind of important here in this definition to use the generic Manforte group because you could realize why in a, a lot of different ways as intersection uh, with some homogeneous variety. But if you do it with a generic uh, Manforte group, you do it in the best way somehow. And uh, there is a meaning of being typical and uh, uh, atypical. And uh, uh, another thing is that I'm not assuming that uh, the period map is injective, even if uh, somehow it's the main uh, thing I would like to have. But so I need to define. I say what that Y is in S is said to be of positive. Can we think of S as being a curve? Does S be big for you, or is it doesn't matter? Um, I mean, if S is a curve, I don't have a lot of things in my theory. <laughs> so, Just, uh, do you have, so do you have to put some lower bounds on the dimension of S? No, I need, I mean, I, I will look at uh, the special subvarieties of S, if you want the component of Earth's locus, which are positive dimensional, and even after the embedding in the period domain. So if I start with a curve, <laughs> <laughs> kind of... Uh, okay, so yeah. I shouldn't be thinking of that. Okay. No, you should think more... Uh, uh, I think it's possible. Yeah, I think it's possible. Yeah, but if you really make it bigger, uh, there is this lovely theorem of Griffiths that if you really make it bigger, I think if its dimension is the same as the dimension of the image, then you have a Schwartz lemma and you can prove the image is algebra. Uh, the group is... <laughs> But the group is uh, the image is then uh, uh, arithmetic. Yeah. yeah, it would be Shimura in this case. Yeah. But okay, maybe uh, okay. So you're not that big, it's all up okay. No, no, so, I mean, a very simple example yeah, yeah, is Shimura varieties uh, uh, where the fee is just uh, identity essentially, uh, but uh, 
and S are a visa entity. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, uh, and uh, okay, this corresponds to level one and uh, we come to this way. But okay, so uh, I would like to study. Uh, A part of a hot locus, which I call a positive. Uh, uh, so uh, it will be the, component, the set of components of the hot locus uh, of positive of positive period dimension. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Uh, and my sentence before, sorry. <laughs> so, a Y in S is uh, of positive period dimension if uh, the dimension of phi of Y is strictly positive. Okay. And uh, so, I want to look at the components of a hot locus of positive. Period dimension. And uh, so I should say that to study this, you can really do geometry. And uh, you have two set of uh, HL of S uh, the same set of components, but uh, of zero period dimension. So somehow you, you do some intersection and you find just a point. And inside that, you have the CM point where uh, the Memphis Tate is a torus. And uh, I should say that uh, these two uh, last things are really uh, arithmetic in nature and much more difficult to handle, but uh, okay. Okay, so now, um, okay, let's, let's try to state some results. Uh, so just to uh, make the results simpler, I will. Uh, Assume so it starts. I mean, okay, I will assume that G is Q simple and uh, adjoint and, uh, and it's also the gen. Uh, equal to the monodromy uh, uh, group. So this is not uh, important for the method and whatever I'm doing. It's just that the statements are not so nice uh, if you have to take track of products. But uh, so uh, the, you have some uh, conjecture which is predicting what you are willing to prove uh, which in this context uh, and uh, the first form was given by Kinder of this uh, conjecture so we end up with a, a little bit different but uh, so the conjecture would predict that uh, the hot locus so the atypical part of the hot locus is always algebraic so it's just a finite union of components and even the zero dimensional part even so this is something even which should contain uh, arithmetic. Okay. And uh, so we are 
Okay, so we can uh, produce uh, okay, at least maybe three uh, results which are kind of linked. And uh, so the first one is in this spirit um, is that if I look as at the period positive dimensional part uh, of an uh, of an atypical locus, uh, this is algebraic. So a finite union of algebraic sobriety. The the second statement is really that the typical locus is much more predictable. Uh, so a statement is just saying that if uh, the hot locus uh, has some typical uh, part, so if the typical part of the hot locus is not empty, uh, then uh, uh, the hot locus is uh, nice to guess. Uh, in uh, S. And the last statement. So I will explain what is the level in, in this context. That is that uh, if uh, the level of D is at least three, um, then uh, it's not possible to have some typical intersection. So it's just uh, empty. And uh, uh, as a consequence, the if a level is at least three, the the component of a hot locus which are positive period dimension is an algebraic set. Uh, I see a story very close to Andre Org. Is there a if you assume that Riemann it wouldn't help you in the set? As a bit of the uh, even with Freeman, I don't know the arithmetic part. Even with Freeman, I don't know how to do the arithmetic part. But, uh, okay, this somehow is, I mean, this is just. Are these ergodic theoretic proofs? Uh, there are some ergodic theory proof of some less uh, uh, precise result than this, like I could tell you, but. Uh, so these are not, these are different. Yeah, this is a functional transcendence. And, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so <coughs> okay. Uh, so, what level? Is to what? To level one here. Yeah. So, so I have to, to say what is the level uh, in, in this. Uh, yeah. And the so, surface of big degree to be really high level. Uh, yeah, it will be high level. I, I mean, okay. So, we, we use this notion of level. So, um, when you have a, a point, so you have a, a, this will give you a, a hot structure on any representation of G. And in particular, you have a hot structure uh, on the adjoint representation. And uh, so I, I write it uh, as a, okay, it's, it's a weight zero representation. So, uh, uh, 
So uh, I write this hot associated hot structure as a, a sum from minus w to w of this uh, given sk. Is the level my definition? Could you give an example of something of level two? Yeah, oh. yeah, you, you have a lot of. Uh, I mean, you should do. Uh, no, you, you have a lot of example. Uh, and, I mean, you can do any level. It's not. Uh, but uh, level one is more about it. Yeah. Level one. Read my definition, and it's really what. Uh, and so, in, uh, in in the Shimura case, you have a lot of typical intersections. It's very natural. Uh, so it's uh, and so I should say that uh, if I assume G is Q simple, uh, this result is also true in level two. But it's an accident. I mean. If uh, the proof gives this, but if I have more factors, I have to define the level uh, as uh, the, on the minimum on each Q factor of the level of each factor. And then the proof works perfectly uh, for level that is free, but uh, it breaks and you have counterexample in level two. So it's not. Um, so I prefer, even if it would be true uh, as stated with level two, it would be misleading. So, um, so let's give a concrete example. Uh, okay, so for example, or so let P uh, N um, the protective space parametrizing. Hypersurfaces and plus one, I suppose. Of degree D. and uh, let uh, say U and D the locus. Such hypersurfaces. Um, so uh, you can look at the Z VHS corresponding. Primitive part of the cohomology of uh, fibers. And uh, I think if we are correct, then if M is at least three, D at least five, and M D not uh, four, five, or something like this. Then the the, the positive part uh, of uh, 
the positive palette dimension part of the locus is algebraic. So just uh, you can compute the level uh, in any reasonable situation. So to exclude the case, uh, everything of that uh, PP or the corresponding uh, yeah, you, you won't find, I mean, the level will be at least uh, free uh, with the parameters, I guess, uh, something to be checked. Mm -hmm. uh, at least when NMD are picking up, it's, uh, the level is really increasing. <laughs> so it, uh, okay. So um, I wanted to give some uh, general ideas of the proof, but uh, very far from um, what I can really say. So the general method is to use some functional transcendence. I will try to say what it is, but using uh, this uh, kind of result. We have been doing this for years in the case of Shimura varieties. We parameterize uh, the set of Maximal atypical, okay. I, I want to say special severity, but uh, okay, component of the locus um, of positive uh, dimension. You, you're able to parameterize it by a countable set, which is not too difficult, but which is definable in some minimal structure. When did the back and Zimmerman prove in this direction? I mean, that's some, something. Yeah, so we will use it. We use this functional transcendence uh, action well of Baker Zimmerman, uh, crucially, to do this part. So, okay. And um, so it, I should say that uh, for Shimura varieties, uh, uh, okay, I'm confused. Uh, usually, the way I've always understood the omnimality was always to understand uh, the non compactness of the cusp of some. No, it's, it's, it's not coming in this way here, right? No, no, you play. No, no, you. So, uh, I guess the period domain is. No, no, for Shimura varieties, I mean, it's really part of uh, the way you prove on the art, the way you try. Oh, yeah, to I, 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 I'm it. just trying. To maybe in my mind, for you to highlight um, the use of open amality, are you using uh, Starchenko and Pedersel, or are you using, uh, are you using analytic? What omenimal, okay, let me change my question. What omenimal structure are you using? Uh, and X, in, in fact. Right, so yeah, you're not using X. X. Yeah. Are you? yeah, I'm using X. I'm, uh, I'm forced to use X. Okay, so I want you to. So for Shimura varieties, we were able to prove that some actually in the man result uh, just by this method when we're implying the uh, geometric part of Andre Hort. So yeah. And essentially saying, okay, if you have a severity with a you can describe completely uh, subvariety of a Shimura varieties having a dense set of positive dimensional special subvarieties. And you could just do it 
using in the man and uh, uh, by, by, by this method and uh, uh, for uh, uh, a, a more uh, subtle uh, statement which is actually annual uh, so so okay this I did it a uh, long time ago and uh, uh, you have a theorem by do that uh, uh, you can get the geometric part of uh, the zilber pink conductor in the context of Shimura varieties. And so uh, somehow the, uh, we, we had to use uh, uh, I mean, for for theorem uh, one, uh, we had to use this method uh, in the context of uh, the VHS, uh, and uh, you had to use uh, uh, the theorem by Baker. Um, okay, so I don't know if I want to state it, but uh, so the kind of thing you have in mind is you start um, by an algebraic variety. Of a product, so it's not so well defined at the beginning because D is not algebraic, but D is inside some algebraic variety, a flag variety, and you call algebraic the intersection of something algebraic. So, and then uh, uh, you consider uh, U and uh, so irreducible uh, component of uh, W intersected uh, with uh, some other graph. Uh, and uh, such that, okay, in this uh, complicated space, you have an unlikely intersection. So the co-dimension in S cross D of U is smaller than the co-dimension in S cross D of W. This co-dimension in S cross D of the graph. Uh, then, uh, so the conclusion is that uh, the projection on the first factor of U and And uh, here I have to add quickly the show variety So weekly special, if you want, you're in a product situation, you have something special across the point. It's the best thing you can think about for weekly special. So, but uh, uh, it's also the locus where the, uh, the monodromy is maximal uh, among this uh, variety of this given monodromies or things like this. But, so it's uh, okay. And uh, all, I mean, all our methods are just uh, able to say something 
link to monodromy, but uh, you have this theorem of the uh, linear Andre linking uh, the monodromy to the Monforte group, and so you get things for the true edge locus. So, so okay, then uh, okay, we. I should say that okay, the, the way we pass from some statement like this uh, to some uh, uh, statement uh, like this is uh, a little bit tricky, but uh, we have been doing this for uh, <laughs> some time, and, uh, so I don't know. Uh, so it takes some time to. But um, okay, so uh, so okay, so and. I just wanted to say one word about uh, sharing two and three. Sorry, uh, if you use Ragnar like you did in the old days, yeah, you would get something. So, much what I am able to prove with uh, Ratner is somehow that uh, if uh, if inside uh, my S I had a, a dense family of truly sub So, uh, in this, in this, uh, you've never used the ergodic method in this. Uh, Here, no. It's a variation of Hodgepodge. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, no, but I did it. I, no, no, I did it in, uh, in another method. I mean, it's not what I no, said no, here. I'm asking whether the no, here, is used in, the, in this general setting. In this general setting, not. Okay. I'm not, uh, okay. I'm not able to do intersection with the ergodic method. Okay. I can do. Pure contentment, but not uh, industrial. Okay, yeah, that was my question. Okay, uh, so uh, so for uh, theorem two, so um, you okay, you you you, you have this generic uh, uh, the group, uh, which is uh, the same thing as the monodromy, and. Uh, uh, you, you have uh, a decomposition of the Lie algebra uh, and, uh, I minus I. and uh, so the, if this is coming from uh, a ZVHS, you have several properties which are essentially uh, Lie theory and nothing more. So, uh, so G, the Lie algebra, is generated in level one. So, which I just want to say that if I have a list of algebra in G, uh, Is such that uh, you see minus one one is uh, G prime uh, C uh, minus one one. And okay, you will for one minus one the same is automatically true. Then uh, G will be uh, G prime. So this is uh, independent of. Um, there is no level assumption. But now, if the level. Here, I prefer over Q. Uh, but I check it with some information, obviously. But uh, yeah. Uh, so if uh, W is uh, at least uh, free, so it's really here that you see it. And uh, so if uh, G prime is inside G, now it's such that uh, uh, GC I minus I is G prime C I minus I for all I. So that I is at least two. 
Where they're primed and where they're yeah, very confusing, actually. Yeah, G primed is containing G. Oh, okay, G prime is a G, sorry. <laughs> so yeah. if I have something inside G, such that for all I with uh, I at least two, I have equality between these two parts, uh, then, uh, 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 then uh, I, I also have G prime. And uh, so here, if you are in level two, I mean, in level one, the statement uh, is empty. In level two, you have control and both. And um, it's easy to produce them. And uh, in level three, you have much more constraint uh, by this kind of event. And, uh, so maybe I should just stop uh, here. So essentially, you have to use a Griffith transversality then to say that a typical intersection force, forces this kind of uh, equality here because the image of a period map is, uh, I mean, if you look at the uh, image of uh, the right of a tangent map is fully in the GC uh, minus one one. So, uh, if you want to have a typical intersection, you have to fill up the tangent space completely. And so you, you need for the D prime uh, giving you your intersection to have this kind of uh, properties. And then, so you show that it doesn't exist. And uh, okay, and, uh, and when you have a typical intersection, uh, I don't know. We almost uh, followed an argument by Shai, uh, which is not so tricky uh, with the same kind of ideas. Yeah. Maybe I should stop here. <laughs> Thank you. Question. Could you give an example of level two and do it occur in nature or not? Um, no, but generally, if you Okay, I would take uh, some. Uh, so, uh, in general, in general, if you have something which is a cohomology of degree two on H two, uh, it's unlikely that it will disappear in its uh, construction. So it may. So, but uh, but uh, in general, uh, so so if I have a family of. Uh, Surfaces. Yes. Uh, it's very likely that you should take the uh, uh, VHS, uh, VHS associated to the H2 prime, uh, then would get something on the, of level two. And, and so you would find some group like a SO2PQ. But the, if you want inside a, a group like SO, Two PQs, you have a lot of SO two P prime Q or things like this, yes. and uh, they they would satisfy uh, that the uh, G prime minus two two is the same for this and this, mm -hmm. and uh, so it will contradict this kind of. Uh, so in level two, so for surfaces, yes, yeah, I think. It's not. Uh, I have a different question. You mentioned this unlikely intersection, Zoba Pink. Yeah. I can imagine Pink writing down this kind of conjecture of the Andre Ord. What was Zoba conjecturing? Uh, do you know? Oh, Zilber was. Uh... Also, in this variation of hyperstructure structure, or something much more general. No, no, uh, Zilber did it for, uh, say, maybe semi abelian varieties or something like this. And uh, Pink did it for uh, pure or mixed varieties. And then uh, you have. So uh, this is not something that they conjectured. It's what you conjecturing and calling their name. It's. Um... <laughs> just, you've got to be careful if you say somebody conjectures something and then it's false. Okay. <laughs> and they never uh, okay. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm just uh, interested in the history. I mean, Zoba is a, a more a foundation. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 model theorists probably, and uh, pink is this field, yeah. 
<laughs> so I'm curious what Zumba can change. No, no, but uh, <laughs> I believe the best so uh, the VHS was like, but it's okay. okay. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's I mean, not, maybe uh, there's some more X. You see, so X was doing some, uh, there's the Shanyol conjecture, and then X yeah. did a functional version of it in the simplest case with exponential. Yeah. So maybe there's something, is it something to do um, with some functions like X? Or, no, but I mean, I can. Uh, yeah, it comes with the uh, transcendental uniformization in some of these arguments. Yeah. So I'm asking is there a more general um, setting in which these guys have asked it when? I'm just asking what's this unlikely intersection of general formulation? Maybe there isn't such. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, it, it's, I mean, it's simple to say what should be Chanuel. <laughs> okay, you can recognize it when you see it, is what you say. Yeah, I mean, uh, you can explain what is Chanuel for a Chimura variety. Yep. This is okay. So then Axanuel uh, is a kind of functional Very way true. version of it, and it's kind of uh, uh, natural. But, but here, it's a little bit more tricky to, to speak about uh, transcendence because you use uh, as a, a tool of D of the gamma, which is no more algebra. Yeah, right. So then the, the transcendence aspect, uh, if you want to say something arithmetic, uh, it's kind of more tricky. For, um, so it's expected that uh, the hot locus should be defined over uh, Q bar if, uh, okay, you're, you start with a variety of a Q bar. But uh, there are some results for the positive dimensional part but nothing is known for the zero dimensional part, a zero period dimensional part, or even for CM points. Right? So, uh, we would believe that CM points should be defined over uh, two bar, uh, but uh, it's not known. So it's true that, okay, for the arithmetic side of the story, uh, it's far from, uh, I mean, we, we are far from having a starting point to prove. Uh, the, this kind of result. And, and the tick pillar method of uh, counting points, which would, of course, be quite uh, um, the upper bound is probably Peter Wilkie's very general. Uh, is to, are there any results in this case for points? Uh, so, not, not the Shimura varieties. No, no, I understand. So, your, your first problem is that. Your zero dimensional part of the Zilberti conjecture, or the CM, even the CMR, yeah, are yeah. not defined over Q bar. So, the, the first step in all this theory is to prove that you have a lot of uh, okay. Galois conjugate. So, okay. so the <laughs> yeah. okay. it's kind of uh, okay. And then you, you look at uh, the level of the universal cover, and uh, but, uh, uh, this, this should be feasible, but you, you don't have any starting point. So there's no case of the analog or of the Zilbert thing, or whatever you call it, proved in the variation of Hodge structures, which is not a Shimura variety, but it points with that. Yeah, there is no result, but, but even for Zilbert peak, you have no result for points. For points. I mean, but uh, for it's Shimura awesome. varieties. But it's even worse for uh, ZVHS because you don't know in advance that you are defined as a Shimura. Okay. That's so, <laughs> but still, uh, I mean, the statements are quite natural. It's really what people are expecting that it should be defined over Cuba. And then, I mean, uh, I mean, it's not too risky to make it kind of uh, statement. If you consider upper surface of not too small degree, mm -hmm. would it be desirable in some theoretical sense at least? to list the positive dimensional typical, non um, uh, atypical varieties. Uh, uh, I mean, you have a way of constructing uh, subfamilies and uh, uh, coming from lower uh, dimension, I think that is, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's, uh, 
I'm not sh sure how to find all the zoology. It's uh, probably difficult. Uh, and in principle, the method does not give uh, an algorithm. None of the. Uh, it gives uh, reasoning by contradiction somewhere. It, uh, not really, it's purely abstract. When you, I mean, you, you, you are giving a parametrization of some space, mm -hmm. and you're saying this space is both countable and definable in some homogeneous structure. And this is just the finiteness result at the end. But uh, it's not, uh, you, you don't construct anything, you don't, um, so I, I mean, I don't believe we could describe, um, I mean, a related uh, result for uh, this um, UND, this is the result of uh, Laurence and Venkatesh, where we are able to prove that somehow the OKS point of uh, UND, uh, I mean, the, so he, somehow you take any field K, any set of uh, places sigma, and you look at uh, the OK sigma point of this space, and um, you prove that the image by the period map uh, will be contained in the whole focus. Uh, in fact, it's just monodromy arguments, but, uh, and uh, so uh, this kind of statement uh, saying that this is algebraic, put a, a stronger restriction uh, on the, the integral points because somehow if it was, uh, if you had infinitely many components on this space, when you change uh, the field K or sigma, uh, they could be dense in uh, some bigger and bigger things. But in fact, you, you find something which is uh, fixed where for all K and all uh, sigma, uh, integral points are um, contained. But uh, it's just an application of what we did. <coughs> Okay, let's thank Emmanuel again.